Hi, welcome. In this video, I'd like to explain to you about the machine definition configuration dialog box. If you've already watched the accompanying video about the machine developer, we explain there how you could edit the machine definition. Uh, the machine definition is akin to the term post processor that you may be more familiar with. Now, if you don't really want to get involved in learning the machine developer, we have developed this technology, uh, the machine configuration dialog box that is, to sit on top of the machine definition and actually enable you to edit the machine definition uh, with predefined prop properties specific to the control stroke machine that you want to use SharpCam with. So let me just go ahead and uh, show you what, what this is all about. Now at the moment we've got the actually the, one of the tutorial parts here. If I go to uh, the NC Code tab, and we look down the bottom, you can see this is using the FANUC machine definition. And if we now go up to the Tools menu, when we choose Configure Machine Definition, we are configuring the active machine definition for the current part. So let's choose Configure Machine Definition. Now what happens here is we have a, a series of properties being displayed. Now these properties are all actually created from within the machine definition. If you care to look inside, you'll, you'll see them all there um, and how they interact with the machine definition. But you don't need to know how that works. I mean, here at SharpCam, we um, create all these properties or populate the machine definition with, the, with these properties. I mean, you can add to it if you feel, but primarily it's for our own use. So taking a look at some of the properties, these are all specific to a FANUC machine. For example, we might want high speed machining. So if, we, if you wanted high speed machining or you didn't want it, because at the moment it's on, and in fact you see here G05.1Q1 is high speed machining. If we don't want that, let's just turn it off to make, make that property false. As you can see, the NC code is instantly changed so you, you can see what, what you're getting with the change. Uh, another one, you might not want line numbers. Typically you don't need them, so let's turn line numbers off. So you can see the line numbers disappeared instantly. Um, tool changed. Does the machine want to need to return to the G30 or the G28 position? So let's say G28, and you can see that's automatically being changed. So what this technology enables us to do is to create one machine definition that covers a wide range of machines. So for example, we only supply one FANUC machine definition and we will only ever supply one FANUC machine definition. This is configurable to suit any FANUC machine. As you can see, it's really simple to make the changes. In fact, we, we take a, our machine definition so seriously that they are in fact version. So when you purchase SharpCam, you're going to get decent high quality machine definitions that are going to work um, and we're not interested in charging you uh, to, to customize them to suit your requirements. It, it just works out of the box and uh, we think this is a, a big step forward uh, for the CAD CAM industry. So that was the FANUC machine definition. Let's take a look at a machine definition that's more specific to a manufacturer that has their own control. So we're going to swap over to uh, a different machine definition for the current part. So let's choose the browse button. And then we'll just step back to, uh, let's look at HASS. So double click HASS VF. Uh, and the code would have instantly changed to suit the HASS. I mean, it's very similar to a fan of the HASS, but there's enough subtle differences that would ordinarily need editing to a generic FANUC uh, post processor or, or machine definition as, as we called it. So let's go up to the um, configure machine definition and there's not as many uh, properties here to configure but nevertheless they're all um, specific to, to the um, HASS controller and even if we come across one that we're, we're not aware of uh, because to be honest we don't have much experience on, on the HASS machines uh, we'll add that property there specific to the controller. In fact let me just show you the fader one because I know there's definitely some um, specific come on specific properties on to the fade or control. So let's choose the configure machine definition. So um, oh, well, the first thing is you have to have line numbers on the fade so they're there by default. Um, there's a little subtleties on the fade 
P word for G87, G83. Uh, by the way, you've got a little, when you click on each property, you get a description down the bottom here of, of uh, describing the property and what it all does. So although again, the, the Fadal machine definition is very close to FANUC, it's still not the same, especially the rigid tapping is quite a bit different. And there's some little subtleties here uh, specific to the Fadal. So again, you know, this, this machine definition is just gonna work correctly for any Fadal uh, machine with a CNC88 control. Now if you need any additional properties added to the machine definition, that's no problem. We, we can add those for you if that if they're appropriate, certainly. Um, and likewise, we're happy to create machine definitions for new control stroke machines that we, we don't have in our library. Uh, so that's the end of this video. Thank you very much.